I left the firehouse around 7 o'clock, 7.05, headed north on 95. Snowy conditions, visibility was maybe a quarter mile. Came over the crest of a hill and I saw an accident and there was a police officer, I saw the blue lights. So at that point, uh, slowed down more and then I noticed it just wasn't one, it was two. And I said, well, I probably ought to stop because I thought someone might be hurt. So that's what I did and I was pulling over and then the accident just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I saw 20 or 30 vehicles that were involved. And so at that point, um, I introduced myself to the officer to see if he needed anything and then just started triage. I would go from one vehicle to the next, wiping snow off the window so I could see inside, hoping that what I saw was good news. Every time it was. Passengers that were able to extricate themselves started to try to help people also. Someone gave me gloves because I didn't have any. So uh, really the kindness of strangers and people helping each other made it a lot better. You try to train for different things and um, it was, it, we had so many people respond. I know that there was uh, Etna and Plymouth and Carmel, Hamden and Herman, and those crews had JAWS and they were able to get those people out so fast. So this one had more or less a happy ending. So uh, no, there's been worse than this. This, this was just had a mass casualty feel to it. You know, there was a big potential there for a lot of trauma. Unfortunately, we got around that.